Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 26 of my Let's Play of Aurora 4X. Now, we're starting this episode off with another new civilian mining colony, this time on 2010 RE64. So, let's have a quick look on 2010 RE64. It's also only got uh, Suarium. So now they have two civilian mining colonies with only sorium. Are they doing that because I'm low on sorium on earth or something? Let's have a look. Oh, I've got plenty of sorium left. Well, actually... Do I have a mining colony with sorium? You don't have sorium. Hmm. Well, I would really like to take over IO, actually. So, um, I'm going to have to look into how to take over a civilian mining colony. And... When something interesting happens, I'll be back, maybe? So, um, see you in a bit. And we have completed a research, namely into the emergency cryotransport, and we're now uh, researching the small engineering section. So um, I'm going to let some more time pass, and when something interesting happens, I'll be back. So back in a bit. I almost miss these things. A research has been completed by Taylor North into our long-range fire control, which is nice. Because that means that we now have one more part for our missile ship. Let's have a look. Yes, long range fire control. So, and we're also, we've also started producing long range anti ship, anti -ship missiles. Anti ship missiles. So, um, let's have a quick look. Um, how many... do we actually already have missiles? Does it show over here? If we have missiles? Because I don't remember if I put in 5 or 10 missiles. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, um, what we're going to do for now is we are going to start designing some short range anti ship missiles. So, um, tech design window. Um, I've got some short range missiles over here. Um, short range missile, de missile designs. So, we're going to design some missiles, 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 missiles. Oh, design missiles is over here. Missile design. And we are going to create a um, new missile. Um, create series. The um, Short range ASM anti ship missile. There you go. And the short range anti ship missiles, they are. Well, we're going to create one uh, with the 0.8 engine power engine. And we're going to put in. 1.5 warheads and 1.5 engine and we're going to put in 0.5 fuel yes 0.5 fuel and we're going to put in one agility one agility so this is a size 5 uh, missile so um and it has a range of 
only one billion kilometers, which is apparently short. I don't know. Let's have a quick look. The range of this guy was three billion. Oh no, we have to design it again. Um, we're going 1.5 warheads, 0.5 fuel, um, 1.5 agility, and 1.5 engine. Oh, it's another 5.5 size engine. So we can use the um, same missile launcher. That's nice. We can use the long range missile launcher for the short range missiles. But we will, of course, have to um, add some more. Um, uh, uh, create another missile control thing. Uh, fire control. That's called. That's what it's called. This is a size. 5.5 uh, short range ASM um, What we're going to do right now is we're going to create this tech. There you go, create. Um, yes, and now we have designed that. So we're going to go to research and we're going to go to missiles and kinetic weapons. And we're going to research this with five labs to get it done quickly. There you go. Yes. So we can. Uh, I want it done quickly so that we can start uh, producing it. Because, well, we'll qu quite frankly need quite a lot of uh, missiles. So, um, let's go to my to do list and check off that we have designed a short range ASM. Now, what we're also going to need to do is we're going to need to create a short range. Um, we're going to create a short range uh, ASM fire control. So let's go over to the um, create tech over here and we're going to create a fire control, missile fire control. And it's going to have to have a range of Um, three billion kilometers. Oh no, not not three, but one billion kilometers. Right. Or am I doing something really stupid here? Um, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, let's quickly have a look at the other um, fire control by going over here, I think. I don't know if we can look it up anywhere else. And selecting the um, new class. And fire control. Um, it has a range of ninety million kilometers only. Um, ninety million kilometers. That's not that long. We need three billion. So um, what we need to do? So I think we need to make a new long range fire control as well. Uh 
Um, I'm going to quickly take a look at the wiki and some other things and then I'll be back in a bit. And I just had a look and I completely derped. I thought it said 3.6 billion kilometers. Well, it said, in fact, said 3.6 million kilometers. I was looking over here. So we need, well, let's just quickly have a look at our missiles. Um, We need a new long-range missile fire control. It has a, it does have a range of three billion kilometers, but we made a short-range, or well, a very short-range um, missile fire control. So, um, what we're going to do instead is we're going to. Well, we need um, a sensor that can sense from a long ways away. And that right now includes uh, having it not be very precise because we need it to be three million kilometer of three billion kilometers, but we can only get it up to um, 1.6 billion kilometers. All right, all right. So, um. So what we're going to do, name this is uh, 1.677, wait, what was the original name? Well, I'd already named it uh, logically. 1.677 is the range in thousands of kilometers, so in megameters. And 1677 megameters of range. And R500 is the resolution. So, um, that's currently the missile fire control that we're going to use for our ships. So, let's create a research project for it. Um, well, of course, after the missile itself is done researching will make a research project for it so we're going to let some more time tick by and when something interesting happens I'll be back so work in a bit and the civilian mining colony on 2010 RE64 has expanded to four civilian mining complexes so they apparently really 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 want us to have more thorium so let's have a quick look at it at the thorium situation um, Sorium. We currently have 90 million sorium in the ground, and we have a stockpile of 64,000. It'll be 12 years until we completely mine it dry. So what I think we'll do is I think that we will buy from this one. Yes, because we do need sorium. So purchase mineral output. And then you're going to send it to Earth. And also, Comasola, you're also going to be um, also going to buy your um, resources, and you're also going to mass drive to Earth. And I'm going to let some more time pass. And I'm also, I'm afraid, going to end this episode here. So I'm going to let some more time pass between this episode and next, and when something interesting happens, I'll be back with the next episode. So I hope to see you again in the next episode. Goodbye.